हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल कॉस्मोपोलिटन एजुकेशन आई एम हेयर अगेन एंड वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द सेम चैप्टर दैट इज़ फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड मैनी टॉपिक्स बट फ्यू सेल ऑर्गेनेल्स विच आर लेफ्ट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर दोज ऑर्गेनेल्स इन दिस वीडियो एक्चुअली एंड इफ यू आर न्यू और यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो देन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी डाउट्स एंड queries you can write in the comment section okay now let's come to the topic uh, as i was talking that uh, we will be covering two different cell organelles in this video plastids as well as vacuoles about these two cell organelles we are going to talk okay and uh, first of all let's start with the cell organelle plastid as uh, the very first point which i would like to tell you about the plastids that they are only present in the plant cells they are not found in animal cells so this can be a very uh, characteristic feature actually uh, of the cell organelle uh, plastid that it it is present only in plant cells it is absent in animal cells and uh, if we talk about the types of plastids they can be of two different types chromoplast as well as leucoplast these are the two, uh, two different types of the plastids chromoplast as the term chrome is here chrome is for the colors chrome is Uh, for color so the plastid which come under under chromoplast they will be colored plastic they will be having some colors inside them while leucoplast they are white in color or you can simply say they are colorless in nature so this is the difference between these two types these are the colored plastids while these are colorless plastids and very uh, frequently uh, you know uh, you can say used uh, chromoplast is the term chlorophyll which you are able to you know observe in the green parts why uh, the green parts of the plant are green in color because they are having one pigment that is chlorophyll it comes under this category only chromoplast because this is the pigment or this is the plastid which is showing some color so that's why it will come under this category only chromoplast and uh, some another pigments are also present which give the plants yellow or uh, green uh, yellow and orange color actually green color is for the chloroplast and some another types of pigment pigments are also present which are providing yellow and orange color to the plants and the next point is uh, see these things we have discussed about the chromoplast as they are colored uh, plastids so what is the function of leucoplast as they are colorless plastids but if they are present in the plant they will be also performing some function so what is the function of leucoplast leucoplast uh, in leucoplast materials such as starch oil and protein granules are stored so this is basically uh, working as a storage organ as in the leucoplast materials and see just look at the materials they are also very very important for the plant so the material such as starch starch is stored in the plant as for the food reserve oil is also stored and protein granules as protein are also very very important for uh, the uh, parts uh, for the plant actually because they are uh, very important for the metabolic functions which are performed by the cell so these things are stored in the leucoplast and uh, when we talk about the structure of the chromoplast what is the structure of the chromoplast so it consists of many layers or membranes which are embedded in a material which is called as stroma as you can see the structure here so the chromoplast consists of various membranes which are embedded it has you know a, a typical material around it and this material is called as or this medium is called as stroma this is uh, very clearly seen here in the structure of the chromoplast so this was uh, the thing about uh, plastids so let's recall them once again as they are present only in plant cell they are of two different types chromoplast and leucoplast chromoplast are your colored plastids while leucoplast are colorless plastids the chlorophyll which is present in the green parts of the plant they come under the category 
chromoplast and uh, aside from uh, chloroplast some another pigments are also present which are responsible for giving yellow and orange color to the plant parts and uh, if we talk about the function of leucoplast very important materials such as starch oil and proteins they are uh, stored in the leucoplast so this was uh, all about the uh, cell organelle plastid now let's come to the another cell organelle that are vacuoles okay now uh, in the very first video when I was telling you about the difference between plant cell and animal cell in that only I have uh, cleared this thing that vacuoles are large in the case of plant cells while they are small in the case of animal cells whenever we are talking about the vacuoles they you know they will occupy a very large space in the case of plant cells so let's see here what are the things which are present in this category or first of all we are going going to talk about the function of vacuoles they are working as the storage sacs for uh, solid and liquid content some solid and liquid contents are present inside the plant and they are stored they will be stored in the cell organelle which is called as vacuoles so this is also very very important function of the vacuole and as i was telling you plant cells have large vacuoles or uh, around 50 to 90 percent of the space in plant cells cells is occupied by the vacuoles so this is also very very important to know as they are very much large in the case of plant cells and the vacuoles are full of cell sap they consist of cell sap and they provide what do they pro uh, they provide to the plant they provide turgidity and rigidity to the cell because of the vacuoles only the plant cells are turgid and they are rigid also so this is also very very important function of the vacuoles and uh, what is stored inside the vacuole also uh, as we are saying that storage sacs for solid and liquid content so this content simply uh, is explained here amino acids sugars organic acids and proteins are stored in the vacuoles this is also very very important function of the vacuole that as it is storing solid and liquid content so what are the things actually which are being stored here they are amino acids sugars organic acids proteins etc so they are stored in the vacuoles and uh, if we are talking about some unicellular organism suppose uh, amoeba about amoeba if we are talking so it is able to get its food as it also uh, amoeba is also able to make the vacuole whenever it sees its food it it goes around it and it make a vacuole and in this vacuole the food simply enters and after entering in this vacuole the amoeba is able to engulf the food material so this is also very important function of vacuole in the case of unicellular organisms and uh, in few cases it is also seen that the vacuoles are responsible for the excretion of extra water or some uh, food material if it is present inside any unicellular organism so with the help of vacuoles they are able to excrete it they are able to you know get rid of that extra material which is present inside its body so that's why it can work as a type of excretory organ also in the case of some unicellular organisms so this was all about the vacuoles let's recall the things one again as i have told you that the vacuoles are storage sacs for solid and liquid content the plant cells have larger vacuoles they can occupy 50 to 90 percent space of the plant cell the vacuole is full of cell sap it provides turgidity and uh, turgidity and rigidity to the cell and the materials like amino acid acids sugars organic acids and proteins are stored inside the vacuoles so these are the things about the plastids and vacuoles now we have completed the cell organelles and uh, i think the topics uh, should be clear in your mind still uh, if you are having any doubt don't hesitate to write in the comment section thank you for watching the video